I will be showing two strategies for dividing a multi-digit number by a single digit number. These two strategies are called the Big 7 and the Box Method. The first way I'm going to show is dividing using the Big 7 way. And the Big 7 way uses friendly multiples. Remember, multiples are products of a number. Friendly multiples are multiples that are easy to work with and solve in our head. So we have two sets of friendly multiples we work with. We have the first set, which is the first 10 multiples of a number. Times in that number from digits 1 through 10. The second set is the numbers multiplied by a multiple of 10. Look at the examples below. Our first set, say for the number 3. First multiple was 3. You times that by 2, you get 6. Times by 3, 9. So the fifth multiple would be 3 times 5, or 15. Our second set, like I said, the numbers multiply by multiple of 10. So when you multiply 3 times 20, you get 60. 3 times 30, 90, and so on. Yeah, some students will need to be able to list out the first, 10, and second set of friendly multiples to use when working the Big 7 way. Others are, have gotten to the point where they can solve it in their head, which is the end goal we want to be able to do. So, here's our division problem. We have 37 divided by 3. So, we take our bracket and we're going to turn it into a big 7. Now we're going to think what friendly multiple of 3 is closest to 37 without going over. So we're thinking, hmm, what times 3 gives us close to 37 without going over or 37 or something close to it. Now, we, will, we can think and we can go back to our friendly list of multiples if we have listed them out. We know that the 10th multiple or 3 groups of 10 is closest without going over. And that 3 times 10 is 30. So I put 30 underneath and I have 10 on the outside of the big 7. That 10 represents that 10 times 3 gives us 30. Or we have already made 10 groups of 3. Because remember, we're dividing 37 into, um, 37 into groups of 3. So we've made 10 so far. Now we're going to subtract and we get 7. Now we ask ourselves, well, can we make more groups of 3? We can, because I know that the second multiple, or 3 times 2, gives me 6. So I put the second multiple, or 3 times 2, gives me 6. I subtract that from the 7, and I get 1. Ask yourself, can we make any more groups of 3? I can't. So when you can't make any more groups, this becomes our remainder. We cannot leave our answer like this. We have to put our quotient in the correct spot. So, I have my groups I made. I made 10 groups first, then I made two more groups of three. I'm going to add those groups together, and I get 12. I can't forget about this one down here, and that's my remainder. So, I need to put that with my quotient. So, 37 divided by 3 is 12 with a remainder of 1. Let's look at this division problem. 650 divided by 5. So, using the big 7 way, I'm going to turn my bracket into a big 7. And now I think, what friendly multiple of 5 is close to 650 without going over? So, I'm looking at my second set. So, I know 5 times 100 gives me 500. So my hundredth is my last friend and multiple that I'm using, so that's 5 times 100 is 500. So I've made 100 groups of 5, so that gives me 500, so I'm going to take that away from 650, which leaves 150 left over. I ask myself, can you make any more groups of 5? Yes. I will go back to my friendly multiples that I have written out, or I think, hmm, what times 5 gives me 150 or something that's close to 150 without going over. So I know the 30th multiple, or 5 times 30, gives me 150. 
I subtract that, and I have zero left over. So I notice that I have no remainder. I'm going to come over here. I made 100 groups, and I made 30 groups. I'm going to add them together, and my quotient is 130. Now let's move on to the box method. The box method also uses friendly multiples. So we, let's look at the problem again of 37 divided by 3. I'm going to take my bracket and turn it into a box. Still thinking, hmm, what times 3 or what multiple of 3 is closest to 37 or is 37 without going over? I know 3 times 10 is 30, so I'm going to put 30 in the box below, and I'm going to take it away from 37. So 30 is our 10th multiple, so I put the multiple number on top, or whatever I'm multiplying the 3 by on top. So when I subtract 37 and take away 30, I should get 7 left. So I'm going to put the 7 below the box. Well, I know I can make more groups of 3 from the 7. So I'm going to put the 7 in another box. So I ask myself, what multiple of 3 or what times 3 is that is 7 or closest to 7? Well, 3 times 2 gives me 6. I subtract that away from the 7, I get 1. I ask myself, can I make any more groups of 3? I can't. This 1 becomes the remainder. So, just like in the big 7 way, I take my top numbers right here, 10 and 2, because I've made 10 groups of 3, and i made 2 groups of 3. I add them together, I get 12 with 1 remainder. Okay, let's look at our, our second division problem, 650 divided by 5. Again, I take my bracket. Turn it into a box. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. So we take the bracket and turn it into a box. And then I think friendly multiple still, what friendly multiple of 5 can I use that is closest to 650 without going over? I know the friendly multiple 100 gets close. So 100 times 5 is 500. So I subtract that from 650. I get 150. I know I can make more groups of 5, so I'm going to draw another box, put 150 in it. Think to myself, what friendly multiple of 5 is closest to 150 without going over? That is the 30th multiple, or 30 times 5, which gives me 150. I subtract that, and I get 0. I have no remainder, so I look at my groups I have made, 130. Add them together to get my quotient. So 650 divided by 5 is 130. So students can choose either the Big 7 way or the box method to help them divide multi-digit numbers by a single-digit number.